What's up guys, Rudy here, and welcome to Let's Play Children of a Dead Earth, the hyper-realistic space combat simulator. We'll be doing the Lagrange Point Graveyard mission today. So what happened is that the USTA fleet uh, diverted from Vesta to Ceres and basically uh, took us completely by surprise. But one of our admirals managed to escape and now they are stranded in orbit around uh, the Lagrange Point of Merc of Mercury, so we have to go out there and rescue them before they run out of food. So this is strictly a non-combat mission, it's going to test our ability to understand and manipulate orbital mechanics. Uh, hopefully we paid attention in space school and will be able to handle this with minimal trouble. So here we are, orbiting Mercury. That's our ship, the large methane tanker. Mm. Very interesting. All right, let's size up the situation. Okay, so there is our gunship that we need to attend to orbiting the Lagrange point. So what exactly is a Lagrange point, you might be wondering? Well, every pair of orbital bodies, in this case the Sun and Mercury, have five Lagrange points, which an object can orbit around. Uh, three of them are in a straight line with the two objects, so there is a uh, L uh, Sol Mercury L3 for Lagrange point three, I suppose, and then here we have two and one, so one, two, three. But there are a total of five points. Here is the fourth point. It forms a equilateral triangle with Mercury and Sol as two points, and the point itself as the other point. And there is L5. Now it's possible for objects to fall into an orbit around L4 and L5 and stay there. In fact, uh, the Lagrange points for Jupiter ha have tons of objects, and I maybe assume Saturn does. And in fact, we have used the Lagrange points between Earth and the Sun for staging satellites for missions. Like I think uh, at the L2 point, or L1 I guess, which would be, there's Earth, there's the Sun, so it would probably be somewhere right around there. We've, uh, I think there's like a satellite for observing the sun, but anyway, so we need to get to this Lagrange point. Now, from what I know from Kerbal Space Program, I know I should burn here to escape Mercury's orbit. I will lose going in this direction, opposite of the rotate of my current orbit, opposite the rotation of Mercury. I'll lose some velocity and get into a slightly smaller orbit an orbit of a smaller radius, and I should be able to catch up to the Lagrange point. So there I'm escaping the influence of Mercury, and so there we have a meetup. Can we join? Too much delta V. I think uh, if I move the trajectory further along, that might work. Nope, wrong direction. All right, how is that? Not enough Delta V. Well, I've said this is a puzzle game, so I just need to puzzle it out. What if I go all the way over there? Nope. It's gonna cost us five. Ah, still too much. More, like almost more than double of what we have available. I know there's a way to do this. I just need to keep on trying. Got to find the right spot. Okay, how is this? Okay, we did it, yeah. That's only gonna cost us 9.7 Delta V. Well, in, in addition to escaping the influence of Mercury, plus this 9.7. So I guess the trick is to burn some amount of degrees after the orbital node. Now, if you're used to playing Kerbal Space Program, this trajectory might look kind of strange to you. But that is because Mercury is currently our frame of reference. So everything moves around Mercury. Mercury is the center of the universe, much in the same way people thought Earth was the center of the universe, with everything rotating around it. So from Mercury's perspective, it looks like our methane tanker is following this particular path. It's going back and then forward. But of course, this forward motion is just us seeing the uh, 
tanker move away from us at a faster velocity, I suppose. And then it's going to eventually approach the Lagrange point. So, I mean, if we change our frame of reference to Seoul, we can see things looking uh, much more... much more like we'd expect it. Like, uh, our trajectory is going to go all the way around the sun. You know, the Lagrange point is moving, just like everything else. And we eventually approach it. And you can see one month, 14 days are almost there. And then eventually we meet up with the ship. So let's get this going. I'm going to do six day turns. So now we're st we still have the frame of reference with the sun. We can see the gunship moving around the Lagrange point, around the sun. Now we're about to begin our burns to make the rendezvous. And there's Mercury. Like, we left Mercury far behind. And we're... And we did it! Incoming transmission. So, I have previously played this mission, and I did it in one month and 27 days at a greater delta V cost. But this was only 14... 0.9 kilometers per second, but it took longer. Excellent. Just in time, Admiral. Thanks for the rescue. You must have been bored out there for two months and 14 days. Anyway, my name is Rudy. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. Stick around for the next mission.